Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use drop shadows on objects to create a more realistic lighting effect. I just created a little scene here with the sun and the sky. I'm just going to go to this layer and make a new object. I'm just going to make it a circular object to demonstrate the effect on it. I'm just going to make it into a symbol. Make sure it's a movie clip as usual. Then I'm going to go to the filter options and select drop shadow. Alright, first things first, make sure it's an inner shadow. Then make sure the color is a color similar to uh, one of the colors in this palette. So I'm just going to go for the outside color to make it lighter. All right, and then use the angle to and just change it so it's angled so that it's facing that way. Make the quality high. The strength you can this depends on the actual object, but I'm just going to go about 200 for this one. The blur is quite important because it makes it, it makes it sort of more uh, smooth. Actually, I'm going to lower the strength slightly there as well. And, all right, so you can see it's definitely tinted on the side there. I'm going to make the distance slightly. Yeah, there we go. You can definitely see it shine on that side. Right, so I'm just going to create a classic tween here. Go to frame 50, make a keyframe. I'm just going to move it here, but obviously it hasn't changed, so I'm just going to go here, change the angle to about there, so the sun is on, always shining on that side. Then if you play it back, you can see that the, the light moves with it, so it's always shining on that side, and you can apply this to pretty much anything in the scene. And you can also do the reverse and just have the shadow showing. And I'll just delete these frames to show it. Alright, if I go back into the filter options, I'm just going to change the angle to the opposite side. <coughs> Make the color about, well, I suppose uh, either dark gray or black. I'm actually going to go for about, it's a bit too strong, I think. I'll go for about, yeah. I'm just going to add the angle slightly as well. Right. I'm going to make the strength slightly lower. Yeah, that's a bit better. And the blur. Yeah, the blur is fine. And then I'm going to just do the exact same thing I did before. I'm going to change the angle again. Right. So as you can see again, it's the shadow has changed as it's moved to represent the light shift in it. Okay, I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you want to see more like this, please subscribe.